So welcome back and today I'm going to be taking a look at this ship over here. It's called the Perseus. And tell me about it, man. Um, I just built it as a police cruiser. Really, that's all it is. It's just meant to kill trolls. Kill trolls. It's, it's a lot bigger than the ship's trolls have got. <laughs> you can say that again. I love the engines. Yeah, it's my new engine design. I've used it on a couple of ships. Yeah, this is my second smallest ship. I've got bigger ones. It's just, it's just power. <laughs> and the turrets, man. Where do the turrets... These turrets are chunky. Wow. Yeah, they're upgraded versions of the Flying Dutchman one. They're um, 405 damage each coming out of each barrel. And I've got a whole series of them going all the way up to 12 barrel versions. The design on the front is excellent. All the hull detail is outstanding. These turrets, the way they're positioned actually looks a little bit tougher because of the way they're angled down like that right now. Yeah, on the way here there were some pirates, but they didn't last very long. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, they both fired three shots at two pirates and they were dead. Loving the radar. Right then, so I am coming to the top deck. There's a door with a gravity block. I'm going to jump in here. So, oh gosh. Yeah, that's one way to get in. That's aging from mega navigating the... Um... Right then, so I'm here. I'm in gravity. Let's do it. Do you want to let me in? <laughs> Cheers, mate. So I'm with I am Kyle Me, right, this and we're checking out the uh, storage, I guess. Yeah, I'm thinking about turning it into a war room because, due to the stacking system, you're never going to need more than three crates. Right. What's this room here? A cafeteria. Yep. Quite small. In here, I've got crew rooms. There. All exactly the same. The idea behind that is so that other people can come in and customize their own little room and yep. little glass shields on each one. Cool, nice views. And then all you got that was just a awkward corridor with more storage. Doors. We've got a core cool room in here, which I found out if you put them floating in the middle of a queue, no matter what your orientation, you won't warp, warp out of the ship. Yeah, that's what they yeah. to block off one wall, so in one direction I can still warp out of it. Oh, right, okay, that's Standard interesting. Cool stops you from warping out when you press R. And you got the hangar. Which um, did have some of Jifafa's fighters in them, but I can't remember why they're not in here. This is a big hangar. Yeah, it, it, it could be bigger. I was nearly managed to fit eight fighters in, but trying to get them back out again was impossible. Cool. Yeah. That's huge. One of my, my bigger ships, even bigger. 12 fighters. And um, yeah, that's about it for the interior, really. The interior. I tend to think of it more as wasted space. I could fill all of this with shields. And <laughs> yeah, but come on, man. This looks great. It looks really good. Um, Don't do knock you it. you want to get in it so I can reset the faction seat? No, no, it's fine. It's fine. Well, it, uh, I could read the uh, stats off it, yeah. That'd be a good idea. Okay. I like how you're looking at the AI there when you load it. That's good. Right. So, the DCP Perseus, built by I Am Kami, has a mass of 28,866. It's got 291,611 blocks 
that's 283 meters long, 59 meters high, 47 meters wide. It's got a total power of 1 million with a recharge of 1.4, I think that is. No, it's not. Yeah. Is that 1.4 million? Yeah. 1.4 million energy recharge per second. It has a thrust of 53,828. So over about double nearly its mass and it's got a turning speed of X 1.2, Y 1.2 and Z 1.0. The shields are currently sitting at 2 million with a 39,000 per second recharge and a 4 second recovery. So there it is, the Perseus. Is this the newest addition to Troll Fleet, or are uh, there others, um, or Troll Police? This was made about three months ago, I don't even know if the, um, the Troll Police still exist. Oh, they still exist alright. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they might not be on the actual yeah. list, but they exist alright. Yeah. yeah, I was thinking it could be a big enough ship to be able to enforce the rules, but not so big that it breaks the server. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's the idea. And also, if you look up the top where the um, beacons are on the two antenna, yep. the idea is to replace one of them with a red light and one of them with a blue light. Oh, yeah. To show off authority. Yeah, it's a good idea. Like that. It's nice. also got a load of cameras. Um, some... I'll check them out. Oh, yeah, there's a bridge in there. I forgot there's a bridge. Did we not look at the bridge? Yeah. yeah, it's got a bridge and a trophy room. Alright, let's go and check that out before the end of the video then. I'm out the core. Do you want to refaction yourself? Um, I can do that. Alright, no worries. Am I heading up the stairs? Yeah, you head up there. And jump. I didn't want to use up too much space, so I had to come up with this really horrible design. Yeah, we never went up here. Bridge and a trophy room, which also has storage in it. So I want to be making the, the Dalmont torture magnet. <laughs> the storage. Nice. Trophies, yeah, I see. Put them on there. Yeah, you can make sure people are working. No, they, you can look out. I see what you're saying. I saw out of them, I, you know. It was like but a can bridge it's view. Can't you can't anything. see. <laughs> Fair it's enough. Got, it's got a camera right in the middle of the front, which is quite, which is good for combat. And then for flying around, there's one in the antenna. There's also another one wedged up in the higher part of the bridge, to be protected as a backup camera. Well, all in all, this is epic. It's a really big ship with loads of functional rooms. It's not often that you see this many rooms that actually have purpose. And I know you see it as, uh, you know, wasted space, but um, a lot of people have trouble finding use for all the different rooms, you know. So, fair play. I figured there's no point having wasted rooms completely. Alright, for people to actually walk around as well. Yeah. I didn't want it to be boring as well. And it's a good idea to have so much storage as well. I've never seen quite so much storage everywhere. It's great. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, you forget. I people forget. Well, you this link now, isn't it? So you don't even need to go up to it. Oh yeah. Oh, I could just I could change that into a war room, and I could just dig out a little hole and put a load of storage in there and hide it. Yeah. You can, yeah, you can totally seal it off now, because you can do it all from the core. But yeah, I love how you've incorporated it everywhere, it's great. But yeah, cheers, very, thanks very much, so that's I am Carl Me, and this was the Perseus, <clears throat> and uh, thanks for joining me. Hang on. <laughs> okay, guys.
Right, so, yeah, yeah, yeah it's all good. Hang on. Right, so. So, thanks for watching. Awesome ship. Thanks to everybody watching these. Going to be bringing you the next one very soon. So, thanks again. And I will see you in the next one.